been making art probably since I was about 15. Went to art school, graduated. Now I'm trying to make more art and share it with the rest of the world. The work I do is abstract, which is very different than the work I've been doing, which is very tight charcoal. So the new work is a lot more fun. It's actually some of the most uh, creative and I think silly things I've been able to do as an adult. I enjoy it a heck of a lot, the making of it, the sharing of it. Uh, I enjoy showing it to people and seeing what they see in it because it's not what I see in it. And when two people that are very different don't know each other see the same thing, then I figure that's maybe what the work was actually about. I don't really like using a brush. I, I've never really trusted them. Most of the time I use a pencil. And so I know where things are going exactly by where the pencil tip goes. But my work is done principally using the human body as a brush. And I think that abstracts something that's very recognizable, that everyone knows what it's supposed to look like, and puts it on a 2D plane and unlike a silver print where you can see sort of shades of gray, with this there's sort of a binary on or off. There's, it either makes contact with the canvas and you can leave a mark or it doesn't and that creates all sorts of different negative spaces that abstract the body in a way that make it hard to see or hard to make out but still interesting to try to investigate. One of the things I really liked about abstract expressionalism is from say during the Red Scare and in 1960s or so, they were looking for a way that they could create art that would be non-political, that would be, you couldn't hate it because there was no content that was actually discernible inside of it. My work is like that in that it could hang anywhere and look really good. And beyond that, it's fun to look at in any setting. What I really like, uh, other inspirances of course would be uh, Pollock and, and uh, Earlier I was doing a lot of work that was sort of like Geiger and Escher, uh, like Guy Atchison. I used to be doing tattoo work, so I got involved with a lot of different color and sort of hyper-realistic film noir kind of lighting. And I like to try to capture that in the work, both in sort of stylistically as well as just in tone and color. I've actually only done about six different shoots with, with the medium that I'm working in now. I'd like to do a lot more of that. I'm experimenting with different layerings, I'm experimenting with different uh, ways to apply the paint, uh, different models, number of models, uh, shapes of models, and that's giving me a different, it's like, it's like the difference between using a fan brush and a two inch brush and, and a little pinstriping brush. Uh, it, it, it changes the kind of marks that you can make and it changes, I think, the energy within the art. I like creating environmentally reactive art. So as numerous people come into the space and start to view it, there'll be sensors and, and cameras within the frames themselves that will analyze the surroundings and then change the art and the lighting on the art dependent upon the number of people and the environment in which the art is placed. Find more work on my website, stevenyanicki.com. My name is Steve, and I'm a raw artist.